recognized for your achievements. Jessica River, Bismarck Turner Scholarship, $916 renewable. Kendra McGeorge, Washington State University Academic Achievement Award, $2,000 renewable. Garrett Sachs, entering the U.S. Navy in July and earning college credits in boot camp and in training, and the post-9-11 GI Bill pays for education expenses in or out of the Navy. Kirby Anderson, Washington Association of Pupil Transportation Scholarship, $250. Dependent students of tech employees are eligible for awards of $1,250 to $1,750 based upon their cumulative grade point average. These awards are renewable for up to four years based on satisfactory progress. Eligible students this year are Ali Curran, Emily Moffin, Kendra McGeorge, and Emery Moffin. During this portion of the program, I will ask the graduates to come forward when your names are announced. One of our graduates has been recognized by the Washington State Principal Scholars Program for achievement, Eric Wittenmeyer. The Washington State Honors Award Program was established to promote academic achievement among high school students by recognizing outstanding achievement of graduating seniors. The top 10% of Washington State's eligible graduating seniors will receive a Washington State Honors Award. We are pleased to honor these students, Kendra McGeorge and Jessica Riley. The Sullivan Lake Employees Association is presenting a scholarship to a student who is pursuing a field of interest involving natural resources or engineering. The Sullivan Lake Employees Association scholarship in the amount of $500 is presented to Kirby Anderson. Her family, in remembrance of Kim Rice, a former Selkirk High School student, to honor not only her memory, but also her life interest, has established a $250 scholarship. Applicants must demonstrate their love for the outdoors and animals, especially horses, and their commitment to nature. The Kim Rice Memorial Scholarship is awarded this year to Emily Moffin. The PSE, public school employees, who are secretaries, bus drivers, instructional assistants, school nurse, cooks, custodians, technical professional, maintenance director, etc., would like to present a $200 scholarship to two very worthy students. This year, the recipients of the PSE scholarship are Jessica River and Eric Wittenmeyer. In a continuing effort to assist students with their post-high school education, the Boundary Powerhouse employees award $250 scholarships to a senior boy and girl who have displayed citizenship both within, within the community and at school. The two students receiving the scholarships this year are Ali Curran and Michael Haskins. RTI Ponderé Telephone is supporting continuing education by awarding a $250 scholarship to Jessica Ryder. The Nancy Nicholas Memorial Scholarship is awarded to a graduating Selkirk senior who is pursuing a career in a field related to medicine and who has displayed an enthusiasm for community service. This reflects the life of Nancy. She helped many, many people and inspired all who knew her. 
In her memory, a $500 scholarship is given to a deserving senior to follow in her path. This year's recipient of the Nancy Nicholas Memorial Scholarship is Kendra McGeorge. The American Legion and the American Legion Auxiliary of Medellin Falls wish to congratulate each graduate. You have worked hard to get to this day, a day for you to be proud, as well as your families and teachers. Each year, the Legion and the Auxiliary are able to award a scholarship to a deserving senior. This year's recipient, in the amount of $500, is Jessica Ryder. We are fortunate to have several guest presenters here today with scholarships and awards. Tara Linninger is here to present two $250 scholarships from the North Ponderé Chamber of Commerce. Actually, I have one $500 scholarship. <laughs> The North Ponderay Chamber of Commerce mission is to encourage business and develop commerce within our area. Keeping in mind that our future lies with our, with our young people, we are honored to, to give a $500 scholarship to Kirby Anderson. Marco Cusco, representing the Newport Masonic Lodge, is here to present a scholarship. <laughs> they all like my glasses. Uh, I'm uh, from the Newport Masonic Lodge, uh, <coughs> Lodge 144, and this year's $750 scholarship goes to uh, Miss Jessica Lee. Selkirk Athletic Director Andy Anderson and Selkirk Booster Club President Kathy Mondish are here to present the Selkirk Student Athlete Award and the Selkirk Booster Club Scholarship. Thank you, Mr. Reed. Criteria for the Student Athlete of the Year Award is based on leadership, both during and outside athletic competition, sportsmanship, fulfillment of potential in the classroom and athletics, team spirit, scholastic perseverance, and qualifications are lettering and a sport. Uh, the, uh, the athletes are chosen, uh, each class nominates two, two students, and from that, the committee of teachers and students uh, vote on who is to be the Student Athlete of the Year. And this year, your 2013 Student Athlete of the Year is Mr. Michael Weiss. <laughs> Selkirk Booster Club offers a $250 scholarship and that is based on students writing an essay on what it means to be a ranger. And this year's recipient is Miss Kirby Anderson. Donovan Johnson to the podium for a Fine Arts Award and to present the Selkirk Education Association Scholarship. First, I want to thank Mr. Kinney for the diatribe on children's songs. You're welcome. <laughs> Each year, the uh, outstanding senior in the band program receives the John Philip Sousa Award. This is for dedication. It is named after America's bandmaster. And this young lady has spent four years as a cheerleader full time, but still finds time to play in the pep band and is a leader in the concert band, Miss Kendra McGeorge.
It's not awkward at all because this year there were four outstanding applicants for the SEA scholarship at $500, and the committee worked very hard, but it turned out that Kendra McGeorge is also the recipient of that. <laughs> Patricia Wolfel, president of the North Monterey Valley Lions Club, is here today to present scholarships. I'm Patricia Wolfel, you know me as Coach Wolfel's wife, and he says congratulations. <laughs> this year, I have two scholarships, $1,000 scholarships, that our committee has the difficult task of awarding to just two recipients. Every year they come back and say, can we please, and we can't. We would love to give more. But out of these two students, they have applied and had a demanding, had to give us a demanding application packet, interviewed us with the scholarship committee, and this year, the two recipients for, those, for that scholarship is Eric Whitmer, I'm pleased to present an additional scholarship, the James McNally Scholarship for Community Service. James McNally was a member of the MPOB Alliance, the Ponderay County Prosecutor, and served in many areas with the Ponderay County and Washington State in different capacities. Community service was Mr. McNally's mission and passion. From time to time, one of the scholarship applicants stands out and exemplifies Mr. McNally's mission of community service. And this year, the $500 James McNally Scholarship is awarded to Ali Curran. Superintendent Nancy Lutz will present the Lily Bailey and Friend of Selkirk Scholarships. <laughs> you mess with the agenda here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I have two uh, scholarships to award. The first one is in memory of Bud Meyer. Uh, Bud, as he was known for his Meyer, I'm sorry, uh, Bud, as he was known to most people, started working as the Ion School District custodian in 1954. He was one of the first custodians for Selkirk High School in 1964 when the new high school opened, and he worked there until he passed away in 1965. And I, I would like to point out that this is the 50th class to walk across the stage uh, for their graduation, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and Bud was uh, started here when he was school, so this award is again in his honor. So to the graduates of 2013, uh, his family wanted you to reflect on the word pers uh, persevere. Bud Meyer persevered in everything he did. He graduated from Lost Creek High School, but only ha after having to repeat a year. Jokingly, he always said that he only graduated then because his father was the president of the school board that year. <laughs> Bud was a World War II veteran and saw action in Europe. He persevered by surviving in a German prisoner of war camp until the end of the war. When you persevere, you will find most things which are attainable are possible. And if Bud were here today, he would challenge each graduate that whatever you attempt in life, persevere to see through completion. And so, in memory of Bud Meyer, we would like to make this award to further the education of Kendra McGeorge and Eric Witten Meyer in the amount of $750 each. One more uh, scholarship to award, and this one is the Lillian Bailey Scholarship. The elementary school building is named after Lillian Bailey, who was a teacher here. Uh, Lillian Bailey outlined the criteria for this award in her will, so this is, we award this every year. And the criteria for awarding the Lillian Bailey Scholarship um, stipulated that the board of directors should select a graduating senior who exhibited admirable qualities in the following five areas. Citizenship, 
moral character, academic achievement, responsibility, and initiative. Lillian Bailey stressed that the award go to an applicant who has an honest desire to better themselves and the world around them. The selection process is a little grueling. It includes an application with recommendations from teachers, community members, or employers, and finally an interview with two board members and a retired superintendent. So an impressive group to stand in front of and answer a number of questions. This year was, uh, it had a difficult time making a decision. They had wonderful applicants. But this year's Lillian Bailey Scholarship in the amount of $650 is uh, awarded to Jessica Ryder. Back on the agenda. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> the Richard and Polly Stretch Memorial Scholarships are given to male and female graduate each year. We are pleased to award the $500 Stretch Memorial Scholarships to Jessica Ryder and Michael Haskins. Katie Chantry and Kim Petrich are here to present scholarships to the Dollars for Scholars recipients. First, on behalf of myself and all the members of the Dollars for Scholars Committee, we would like to congratulate all of this year's graduates. Congratulations. Um, as many of you know, the Dollars for Scholars Committee did not hold its annual dinner and auction last year, and that is our primary source for raising the funds for our scholarships. This year, we are happy to announce we are looking forward to once again holding this event in early November. And we would like to thank our community in advance for your amazing continual support of this important event that supports our Selkirk graduates. Last year, the committee was pleased to have been able to grant a scholarship to every student that applied, as we have in previous years. I'm happy to say that once again this year, each of the 10 graduates that has applied for a scholarship will receive one. Six graduates have been awarded a scholarship in the amount of $500. Congratulations to Kirby Anderson, Emily Moffin, Emily Moffin, Max Rummelhart, Alexander Curran, and Kendra McGeorge. We are pleased to award three graduates with scholarships in the amount of $750. We congratulate Jessica Dickinson, Eric Wittenmeyer, <laughs> and Michael Hatcher. <laughs> Finally, the committee has chosen one graduate as a recipient of a scholarship in the amount of $1,000. This graduate was chosen for excelling not only in her academics, but also because of her involvement in many extracurricular activities. We are happy to offer a $1,000 scholarship to Jessica Riker. Congratulations. We would like to thank Dollars for Scholars along with all of the other uh, Selkirk sponsors. We appreciate that support. I'm pleased to welcome Eric Wittenmeyer back to sing For Good, a song with special meaning for today as you listen to the lyrics. It's on, right? Hi, guys. I've heard it said 
to our lives for a reason. Bring in something we must learn, and we are led to those who help us must to grow if we let them. And we help them in return. Well, I don't know if I believe that's true. But I know I'm who I am today because I knew you. Like a comet pulled from orbit as it passes the sun. Like a stream that meets a boulder halfway through the wood. Who can say if I've been changed for the better? But because I knew. So much of me is made of what I learned from you. You'll be with me like a hand on my heart. And now, whatever way our stories end, I know you have rewritten mine by being my friend. Like a ship on front more. Like a sea dropped by a skybird in a distant wood. Who can say if I've been changed for the better? But because I knew you, because I knew you, I have been changed for good. And just to clear the air, I ask forgiveness. For the things I've done, you blame me for. But then I guess we know there's blame to share. And none of it seems to matter anymore. Like a comet pulled from orbit as it passes the sun. Like a stream that meets a boulder halfway through the change for the better. I do believe I have been changed for the better. And because I knew you, because I knew you, because I knew you, I have been changed. Thank you, Eric. In recognition of the statutory authority of the State Board of Education to establish high school graduation requirements, along with the additional requirements of the Selkirk School District, I wish to confirm that the members of class of 2013 have met these requirements and are now ready to receive their diplomas. May I invite Gary, Gary Sachs, senior class president, to the podium to present his classmates for their diploma. Emily Anna Boffin. Kendra Marie McGeorge.
Courtney Hill. <laughs> Jessica Ryber. <laughs> Kirby Peyton Anderson. <laughs> Allie Curran. <laughs> Jessica Anna Dickinson. Emery Moffin. Michael Weiss. Eric Widmar. Michael Haskins. Ha, 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 ha.